You met Peaches and Plum a little bit. Monica Schmitz here as well. Let's talk about these puppies. They are just so cute. And you said they yes. were brought back from foster. Mm -hmm. So after they were born, they were a little bit too small. Right. And then so what happened? Too small, too young. So we have great volunteers that offer to foster puppies, sometimes kittens for us that just need a little growing time. So this particular foster, she was able to take these two puppies together. Mm -hmm. They are litter mates, they're little sisters. They have, uh, I think the litter was six total. So we kind of split them on, up amongst fosters. And so these girls get along great. They've right. grown up together. They're playful, they're energetic. Um, they love cuddling. Big time, as you can tell. <laughs> and, the, and the mom, you said, to describe the, the parentage. Yeah. <laughs> so their mom is about a 12 to 15 pound oversized chihuahua mix. Okay. She's flat coated, black hair. All the puppies look a little bit different in the litter. There's some with flat coats, there's some with short coats, um, there's little scruffy terrier looking coats, and then there's these two, <laughs> little <laughs> little fluffy puppies that yeah. look like little teddy bears. So do we think they're, they're will they, shed we think or something i don't know chihuahuas a little bit chihuahuas do but uh these two do not so obviously maybe from the other side of yeah. the line we didn't see their dad but right. you know maybe perhaps he was oh. a non-shedding breed but um, some, tip, don't. some tips about when you have a dog like this, some mm -hmm. things we can do to save money, right. for example, in terms of when you, you schedule the regular checkups, the more you schedule them, the easier it is to head off any issues. Correct? Right. We recommend, you know, we do want you to help you cut costs, but if you just maintain that yearly checkup, it's going to cost save you in the long run if you catch something early or prevent a disease. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can also tailor your vaccine package. Um, instead of getting all vaccines, just get the talk to your vet, get the ones that your pet specifically needs and make sure you get anything that's required by law of course right um, spaying and neutering your pet helps all of our adoptables are spay or neutered before they go home with you but we also offer low-cost spaying and neutering at Houston Humane Society that's going to prevent several different types of cancer later in life as well as other illnesses that would be very costly um, and then also with pet, pets like these, you can do a little grooming at home. Kind of stretch how often you might have to visit a professional groomer if you learn how to trim their toenails, if you learn how to clean around their eyes, keep and you them know, brushed. I tried that with my boy <laughs> and it was he was not really happy right. with me. You have to kind of get used to doing it. You, do, will there be a professional who can help you learn how to do it? Because if you go too <laughs> short, you can cause some problems. Right, absolutely. Not only can your vet or your groomer help train you, you can also find some of those clippers in the store now that have a guard on them ah. so that you can't go as deep. It'll it'll kind of help protect your pet's paws. All right, peaches and plum. Is that you? Is that, <laughs> is that one of them? They want to get in on the interview. Okay, all right. <laughs> Humane Society, open today from 11 at 530, located 14700 Alameda Road in Southwest Houston. You can see animals in need of a family on Houston, uh, in Houston to check our adopted pet section. Uh, and it's right under the consumer tab. We'll be right back. Peaches and plum, you're so cute. You gonna find a home today? We'll be right back after this.